that slimy chieftain of the McDonald's heir from his spies and the lengthy garrison of his day. If he secured Ellen Donnan, the coveted title Lord of the Isles would be his. I was fishing when the first sails blew into view. Many a man would have run, but not I. If your Navy McCray has his mind, it's your duty to protect this land. So over I rushed. But I wasn't counted there had been so many. By the time I reached the battlements, fifty men full of men were fast approaching the castle. And there were just three of us. My mother said it was better to flee death than to feel its grip. Perhaps I should have made for the mountains when I had the chance. We fought hard, but with our constable slain, Donald Gordon called for the battering ram, and we knew our end would come quick enough. I was sick with fear and down to my final battle. But just then, my mind cleared. I raised my bow. And with Donald God's heart to my sights, I prayed my aim to be true. But where did my arrow lodge? In his blasted foot? I slumped to my knees, resigned to my fate. But a deadly blow never came. You see, a true miracle had occurred. In his haste, Donald God wrenched that barbed arrow out of his foot and in doing so severed an artery. And with blood spilling forth, the fool's death was surprisingly quick, and with his fall, the MacDonald's hunger for battle soon ended. Back to sky they went. You good people must vouch for me. This story will hardly be believed in the years to come. I can hardly believe it myself. Some may say it was luck. Regardless, I have lived up to my name this day. McCray, son. Good fortune. Let us drink in the knowledge that Ellen Donnan stands strong.